Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. We are on, I think it's part five of my complete colouring book collection. So we've had the books we haven't coloured in, there were two of those. We've done the whips PDFs and the completed pages in that. And the Jade Summer completed pages as well. So page five is going to be colouring heaven and independent what time it is. Uh, when I finish this we might move on to another set so these are in some sort of order but not really because this is in the wrong no this is the in the right place but so it would be the compendium I've got then the collection books in reverse order uh, and they're in order and then the the main the subscription magazines so which is compendium is first now as you know you saw these recently I did this one, which is by Selena Fennec, um, with the Prismacolor Premier Pencils and some glitter gel pens. And then I did this one uh, with the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. So those are the two from that book. I love this book. I have got the Ardman collection. Uh, Colour in Heaven and this, but they've done three. They've done this one, Short the Sheep, and then another one, which is the complete collection as well. I've only done one in this one, but I did morph and I left some of the background white because it's just so faint it doesn't really matter. But for me, it was doing this bit and a bit of the background, uh, the paint jars. Um, I loved morph when I was growing up and Tony Hart and all that. Uh, then I've got the Sarah Kay Colour in Heaven. I've done a few in this one, I'm not sure how many. I haven't got three or four, all with watercolours, so let's see. I couldn't tell you which ones because I've got quite a few watercolour pencils. Let's flip from the back and see if we can find them. I'll be doing another one from here soon. Because I haven't used my Arteza watercolour pencils yet. I do like this book, I'm going to do that one I think. I think that's so cute. They're all lovely this. I think this is partly why I didn't get the Holly Hobby one because again it's very very similar stuff. I want to do more in this because I think it's adorable this book. Uh, here's the first one and it was the the farmyard one with the chickens. So again all with what colours you can see it does buckle the page a little bit but to me it's not that odd. Important. Now if you're wondering where there's a shadow here, this is the stack of books, this shadow here. I'm sure I've done three, maybe I've only done two. I know I've done another one at least. Here's another one, that one. I think that was the first one I did, I love that picture. Maybe that was it. Nope, here it is, here's the third one and that one. And that's all watercolours because I just thought the watercolours would look really nice in this book. And as you see I've still got loads to do. So but that's one I've done actually more than one in and I like it. The next is the costume collection. Now I only buy these books when I really like them. So yeah, it's not that often. You have to excuse the dust on thing. I've had some work done. And I've only done this one and this was done using the Castle Art uh, pencils as a, um, a, as a first impressions of what I thought of them. Some notes there of what colours I've used on the opposite page. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I enjoyed doing that one. It took a while, but yeah, these are all very 60s colours that they used to have. After the drab 40s and 50s, the 60s exploded into colour. We got a nice little Christmas, which is of course Tatiana Bog Bogima. Um, again, I've only done one of these, and I remember this one. This was using the Faber Castell Gold Faber pencils, which I actually got as part of the subscription. This was my first subscription that my partner bought me, and I did this one just using those pencils, and it was only the 24 set. But I actually like that. I might have to do another one in this book. It's so cute. And then I've got Elves Behaving Badly. I've only done one in this, and this was Help! stuck in undies and again that was using some kind of marker potentially oh hoo hoo or ever blend i'm not sure but yeah he's so cute isn't he hanging around <laughs> probably get that one out at christmas because jennifer's got an elf behaving badly book as well but not the current heaven one 
Now we're on to the specials. We've got the mermaid special. This is Selena Fennec. As you know, I love Selena Fennec. But again, I've only done one in here because I've got the book, one, one of the two books that these are from. And I did this one. And this one was done only with the Crayola 100 pencil set. So this is before you could get the, the Colours of the World skin tones. But this was all done using Crayolas. And I think it looks really nice. I'm actually quite proud of that for Crayolas. Uh, Mystical Beauties. Uh, these are by Zad Von Z. I do like these ones. But I've only done one, I think. I'll find it first. Don't know where it is. I can't even remember which one I did. Because th these are stunning. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm going to have to do another one in this. And I think that's why it's a good time sometimes to go through your books. Like this. Ooh, look at that. She looks a bit knocked off. Just to see what there is and you'll see oh I think I want to colour that one and I can't find it I have done one in here let me just have a look there it is and again I think that was done using Crayolas I'm pretty sure it was just the Crayolas again as when I was doing my Crayola review pencils you don't need expensive pencils to get beautiful results you really really don't so Next, I've got the Fairy Tale Special, which is Hannah Lynn. Again, I think I've only done one in here, and I know I think it is the Oz one, the yeah, Glinda, the Wizard of Oz. I love that one. Enjoyed doing that. That's with probably Black Widows. I, I really couldn't tell you. I don't actually know. I think that's the only one I've done in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only one in there. Then we've got Fairies and Friends special. And I did this one. Now this one uh, was used using just the Monarch pencils from Black Widow. Even the skin was just done using the Monarchs. Because I like to prove that each set, even if, I mean, there's no reds in that set, but if you just want to do something like this, which is green, if you just want that set, you can manage, that you can do some pictures without um, other colours. The, like I said, the only thing really missing from there was a red anyway. And there's plenty of other colours, but that was just Monox. I like doing things like that, just saying I'm going to use just this set and I manage. <laughs> this is the Halloween special, issue 41. Molly Harrison, Molly Harrison uh, and Selena Fennec. And then there's also ones from Lisa Mitrukhan and Enes Guerrero. Um, I don't know what I've done in here. I cannot remember. That's when they were advertising the gold faber pencils again i think they've done them most years actually there's lots in here i do want to do but i just haven't and i don't know i can't even remember what i've done but i've done at least one probably only one let's have a look i think it's well that's a nice one i have to do that this year and that one i like that one that's one of selena's cute and cute ones i think it was a molly harrison one at the beginning in fact i know it was it was this one and it's the only one I've done. Now I've actually got another copy of this, obviously in the Witch's Compendium, so I'm going to do that one with markers. This is one of the earlier ones I did before I was a bit more confident in layering the colours out. I'm still not the best, but I enjoy doing it how I do it. Okay, um, this is the Steampunk special. This again, this is Hannah Lynn. Uh, I do like to, to pick them up. Obviously now I don't need to because I've got I've got a subscription. So, and I did the Sherlock Holmes one, and I absolutely loved this one. I, I wanted to make it look like a proper safe, so gr very green because the safes are green, um, with the metal, and I just absolutely enjoyed it. And because she's holding that up to herself, I put light brown in it, like her cape and stuff. But I, I quite like that. I love that. I, I mean, I love Sherlock Holmes anyway, so to do the detective one, I, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm not sure what pencils they were. Oh, the Prisoners or Polly's, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, Woodland Fairies. This is Christine Caron, and I did this one, and this one is Crayola Pencils, and this was done for the Crayola review where I coloured on screen and then finished it off off screen. Um, by doing a little bit of each section with it and as you can see this is the hundred set you do not need the best pencils in the world to get good results and this is proof of it it's just a matter of layering and being careful 
and picking your colours. And I really love this. I love the little daisies with the pink ends. I just, I think she turned out really well considering it is all Crayola. And the, and the hundred set of Crayola pencils. So no none of the colours of the world, it's just the main set. Which Jennifer's nicked, so I'm going to have to get another set for myself. Definitely. At some point. Gothic Fairies. So this is Michaelina. I've done a few in this one, actually. I like this, but I want to do some more, actually. So I did this one using um, the Everblend markers. I wanted to do a darker skin. So I, I, she's an alien, so I made her a bit blue. But she's very dark blue. Um, and the background was done with the... Um, Neo Colour 2s. I think this is glitter pen though, in the middle. Yeah. And the bubbles, are, there's some glitter gel pen on there. Um, a met metallic. And then I did this one. Again, this would have been using the Everblends. So you can see that was water. And there's one more. The first one I did in it was one of the nice, really sweet, simple ones. I like that one. I actually like them all. And I did the uh, Gracie. And again, that would have been just done with the Everblend markers. Just so cute. I love this one. So I really need to get some Micah Jelena books or PDFs or something because I really like her stuff. Nouveau Fantasy Special. I've only by Herb Leonard. Uh, I've only done one in this one, sadly. And I did, I remember it took me ages. And I used the polychromos for this one if I can find it. And I did the green man. Uh, there is some gel pen on the background or some pen, black pen on the background. Is it gel? No, that's just a marker, but there is gel pen um, in the gold and on the green, it's metallic. But I really like this picture. I love the green man. I'm still really proud of that one. So it took a lot. Um, Halloween special, another one. Uh, don't know what's in here. Let's have a look. How many have I done? Probably not many. I know I haven't done any of those, sadly. I want to. Probably just one. Oh no, I took this one on a holiday to Tenerife in uh, 2019. I did the started that one uh, abroad, um, but did I did a couple of others while I was there. I like this one. I like this book. Oh, I've got to do that one this year. I did this one. I, I love this one. I think it turns out really well. And these ones were all done in here because I only took one set of pencils when, we abrupt, when I went away. We're done with the Black Widows. And I did this one, which is the Nikki Burnett one. And again, I love this one as well. They were the ones I did on holiday. Next, it's the Christmas special. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap there. This is the year I actually got my subscription uh, for Christmas when this one came out but obviously this wasn't part of it I bought this because it's, it's separately I think I can't really remember and I've only done one in here I think let me just have a look yeah there's loads in here that are so nice to do They're not that difficult to be fair some nice Santa ones yeah Charles Santori ones and there's some Michael Jolina again so that's cool. What did I do in this one? Oh, here it is. Oh, I only did, I did the, oh, that's right. The Elena Lazareva one of the stocking hanging on a tree and it's all sort of, there's markers in there. I don't know which one's Sharpies, I think. Um, there's glitter gel pen in there. There's Wing Costella on there and there's pastels, um, pebbles chalks on the background. I've got so many Christmas books, I just can't colour in them all. I love Christmas Day and I usually put, Halloween and, and Christmas, I always pull out a huge, all the books that are relevant to that, that particular holiday and spend a whole month just colouring them. But Alice Special, this one I did for the Gold Faber. No, not for the Gold Faber. Was it the Gold Faber test? It might have been actually. But there was one in here. I am not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. But some of the pictures like these ones by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, I don't mind because I like her. I've just got to find the one I did. Mm. quite like that one, the Cheshire Cat. I don't think it was Jasmine Becky Griffith's one. Oh, it's so hard to find them sometimes. 
It's not Charleston Tory either, which are the grayscale ones. Where is it? Can't find it at all. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is, right at the back. Number 39. And this one, so that was done with the. Oh, sorry, there's a can here that Paul left in here when he was working up here the other day. Gold fever ones, I think, as well. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was definitely one of my test ones. Quite like that one. With the multicolored. It gets darker as she goes down, that's the idea. It sort of goes from green to yellow to orange to red to purple and then to blue. It could have been better, but I quite like it. We've got Dark Fantasy Special. This is an Ennis Guerrero. Again, I've only done one in here because I love them, but they scare the heck out of me. I don't know why, because that's a really nice one. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I remember doing this one. So I did this one with, um, it would have been Everblend Marquez. Uh, I went over the background with black acrylic paint and then got I think probably stickles or glitter glue but it's definitely I think it's stickles actually looking at it because I've got lots of different ones or it's glitter glue um, to do the stars and I think it looks really nice actually yeah that one Lily the Witch but I really I do want to do some more of these so this is the problem I've got too many books now Dreamtime special, so this one is Hannah Carlson. So it was great, we were very excited because we can now use markers on Hannah Carlson pages without ruining the, the previous side. We've got the pages and then I did the uh, Yin and Yang, night and day. And again, this was done with um, Everblend markers and then just some blue paint. It's not even acrylic by the feel of it. Blue paint, anyway, it might be acrylic. Uh, on the background, Quite like that one. A bit of glitter gel on the stars and the suns and the moon, obviously. Like that one is the only one I've done in there. But I want to do more in there because, I can, like I said, I can use markers. Animal Wonderland. This is Kanuku Agusa. Now, I'm not big on colouring animals, which is why I like that one, though. I'm going to do that this Christmas, which is why I gave my dog's one to my mum. But I have done one in here. I just can't remember which one it was. Was it the one with the... It's the rabbit and the tulips, isn't it? Again, with Black Widows, I would say, probably. I was big into the Black Widows at the time. They are cute, though. I just can't find it again. Where is it? Oh, I hate it when you can't find the flipping... Oh, it's the bloody first one and all. Well, the second one. Uh, I did this one. So I did, like, a Tiffany lamp. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It's, it's such a cute little picture. But I didn't mind colouring it. But, like I said, I'm not big on animals. Gothic Alchemy. I love this book. I have not done enough in this book. I think I've done three. I think something like that's quite intimidating. And, and that one too. Um, but I've done that one, which is Stigmata Rose. Again, that was just done with markers. I don't even know which ones now. But it was done with markers. Probably the Oh Who Who. I think I might do that one. And then I did... This was the first one that I did. And that was using Black Widows. No, that was using the oak Everblend markers, what you want about. Um, and that's Distress Ink on the back. It's Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And I did this one. This one was using the Black Widows of uh, her, her knee in the grave. And actually looking at it now, I like it more than I did when I finished. When I did it, I, wasn't, I didn't think it was that good. But now I've looked at it, I actually quite like it. I was getting used to doing grayscale with pencils. I'm not very good, so I'm going to have to do some more. We are well into my, I was going to say my prescription, my subscription. Fantasy Princess is special. Oh, look, it's gone yellow. As you can see, this was obviously done with the Everblends. And normally I leave the paper in it a long time so that it doesn't. Do you know what? That is not a major problem. That can all be covered. It's not on her skin, so it's not an issue. And that was this one. And this I always usually leave them with paper in and them open for a couple of days because you can see it's gone to paper as well. I don't get this with the oh hoo hoos. It is the other blend that seemed to do this yellow in. I don't know why. But again, that's the only one I've done, sadly. So Fairy Special. I have got so many flipping colouring books. This is Jana Prosferina. I do like hers actually. 
Oh, I remember I did this one. Um, it's one I did this one this year and it's one of my favourites of the year look because it's got a tag on it, but I've stopped doing that now. Black Widows I would want to say, but I wouldn't be a hundred percent, but I think so. I quite like that. And I'll probably do one with markers in here. I just again it's, it's having the time. That's why I'm slowing down on my buying now. I'm concentrating on buying my photography stuff for a bit. But there are books coming. I've got I've got a few books this month that I probably will show. Now, for someone who doesn't like dragons, I've actually done two in this book. If I can find them. Oh gosh, I can never ever find them. Right, this was the first one I did, which is the European dragon. So I did him in Welsh. He's a Welsh European dragon, because you know I'm in Wales. So. This was done with Black Widows. I am very proud of my little dragon. And I've done all his treasure. I know the other one's not this way. He is this way. And the other one I did was, oh, there he is, the Frost Dragon. I am very proud of him. I love the way his eye came out. I just think he looks absolutely gorgeous. My Frost Dragon. Yeah. So I've actually done two in that. Back to uh, more animals, fantasy cats. These are Jeff Hayne. Now I do like these cats. I think they're fantastic and some of them are amazing. But like, <laughs> look at that, so cute. I am gonna have to do some more, but I'm not a big colorer of cats and animals, but I did like this one. I love this little guy with his sunglasses on, or hers. And I've given him gold trim and a gold necklace with some jewels. But yeah, I quite like that one. So I will do more in this one. Right, we're up to last year's Halloween special in the ones I've actually done pictures in. Um, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Uh, so let's have a look and see what we've done. I've probably only done one in this one as well. Let me just check. Oh, I'm going to do more in this year. The problem is they book out, put out Halloween books every year and sometimes they put out two. I, oh, that's right, I did that one, which I really like. Conjuro by Yuriki Shiru. I think that is the only one I've done. Look at these. They're so cute, some of these. I don't know why. I'm going to have to do some. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I did this one by um, Dawn Davidson. Probably again, Black Widows. I don't know. It could be any pencil. I've got too many pencils as well. I need to start writing them down. Right, next one is the Zodiac Special. I know I've only done one in this one, which is my sign cancer. <sighs> I could have done it better, I think, looking at it. I'm not so happy on the flowers. Um, I don't know. I would now use a blending marker on that. There is paint on it, as you can see. There's gold paint on here. On the moon. Uh, but yeah, she's not that bad, actually. I like the... That's a bit of the crab up here that I did, I quite like that, and they look like mussels, so I did them that colour. But yeah, I, I'm quite, I quite like it actually looking at it now, um, but I think I could do this background a bit better and the flowers better. But that's the only one I've done in there, so I do need to do more. It's warm in here. Cutesy Christmas Special. I think again I've only done one. So it's got the Hanlin Christmas ones in here. I don't know what I coloured in here. Oh, these are adorable. I've got to do some. You forget. You do forget what your cute books are like when you put them away for the year because they're like, it's Christmas. Obviously, I did this one because this one was the advent calendar and we did this as a thing. Yeah, we did it as a thing. As a... Um, um, a challenge within the colour in heaven route when you did one a day so I think I did one more with all colours by the look of it because I can feel it moving uh, yeah next one right, my battery's about to go on I did the Santa Claus with some watercolours and I think I like it very much and there's also some I think Winkostella on him maybe or some silver paint Winkostella on him but I really like that I'm gonna have to change the battery I'll be back Okay, so I'm only going to do Colour in Heaven in this video because we're getting on for 30 minutes. I think we're on about 23, 25, so rather than overwhelm you, we'll just do the Colour in Heaven ones and then I'll do the next part of the shelf separately. 
gives me an idea on how to do the last shelf. It's going to have to be two parts as well. Creatures of the Night Special. This is by Sarah Richter. I love this book. I am probably going to keep this out and do some colouring in it this month. Probably in pencils. I know I think I've done it in markers so far. I've only done one. Oh, I mean, look at these. These are fantastic. That is beautiful. You know, I, I just love it. I think it's so dark. And I did the Aerial Demon. I haven't done the Aerial Angel. That was done with Black Widows. Totally done with Black Widows. I might have to do the Aerial Angel at some point. but So I've done the Aerial uh, Demon. I'm going to put this one aside because I've decided I want to definitely colour in that this month. Uh, Nouveau Fairies uh, Special. This is by Herb Leonard again. And again, I do love his work. But I suffer from a thing called trypophobia. Ever since I got pregnant with Jen, I cannot stand to look at circles like that. It makes me uncomfortable. And it is a, it is a condition. It's a phobia called trypophobia. Uh, yeah, don't go look it up on Google because it's quite horrible. Some of the things they show you for trypophobia. Um, so this one had that and I've just blacked it out. So I'm slowly going through the book, blacking out all those little circles because I hate them. Spots like that is fine because they're not close together. It's when it's tightly packed. So I can't look at a crumpet anymore and I used to love crumpets. And it's not just little holes, big holes as well, like the big holes where the water goes down in a reservoir when it's low and you can see the big, I hate it. I think it's, it's the thought of getting sucked down by it that freaks me out about that. Um, I'm a bit weird, so I just thought I'd let you know. I am a bit bit weird, so there you go. I'm happy to be weird, I, I don't care. Uh, Black Widows again, and there's some gel pen as well on the, um, around here and up here. So yeah, I do like the book. Don't get me wrong, it is a beautiful book. And that is stunning, even though she's on a snail. But that, oh, I can't look at it. I, I mean, it's hard enough for me to sit there and black it out, um, which takes me about 10 minutes, but to sit there and colour for an hour, I, could, I just couldn't do it. I'd be like, and I've actually blacked out some of them. You could call them whips now, but it, to me, it's not. I've, as you can see, I haven't done them all because I think that was one there. Well, that's not so much circles as, Mm, funny shape so I probably won't worry about that one too much but there are other ones before that they're, they're, that's one I've done I think there's another one I've completely done somewhere and I've, I know I started one after but I never finished it but I can't there there's the other one I can't stand them I've got to get rid of them so sorry for those of for Herb for, oh, was it Herb? Yeah, Herb. I just can't stand little little circles. Uh, steampunk special. This is the last one, and I'm calling it a day. We're probably on about 26, 27 minutes, and I think that's enough for us all, isn't it? Really. Um, I, I mean, if you would prefer long ones, let me know. But if you want, you know, the next one will probably be about the same, maybe a bit longer. The one after that, I can either make it horrendously long, or I can cut it into two parts and make it about 30 minutes each. And I've only done one in this. I've got to find it, and it's one of these first ones in the book. I, I do like them. I like both of them. Um, I like both Dawn and what's her name? What's his name? Matt. I like his as well. His are more detailed. I did this one, which is Foxy, and that was used. That was a hoo hoo markers. So yeah, I do like some of that. Some of his. They're quite detailed. Um, Holmes and Watson, the perfect wife. I think there's no an Oz one in here. Jack and Hyde. Yeah, I really love that one. I do want to do it. Defenders of Oz. I love it. I, I want to do that. Um, but again, it's having time. I will do it. Probably in pencil with that one because I think it'll look nice in pencil. So that is my colour in heaven collection and the completed pages within. Um, obviously, there will be more because I've got a subscription. My partner buys it for me for Christmas every year. So it's like I get a little Christmas present from him every month and I love it, I, I get very excited. And of course, if you remember, you get the Discovery Club for free. You get subscriber perks uh, image, which is one extra image per book. And you get you get the sneak peek, and you get ten percent off buying anything else on their website. So, for instance, uh, the Chaos Bears books, which you saw in the um, uncolored ones, 
I had, and it's not a lot, but 10% is 10% at 10% off that book. Um, another one I need to colour in. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you want me to colour in any of those books uh, that I've shown today. If you want to see me colour in them, let me know and I will happily uh, do one for you. I will be doing a colour and chat as soon as I've got this out of the way, this whole length of videos that's taken me forever to do for various reasons, um, which I'm not going to explain now, but I'll talk about in colour and chat when we do it. Um, but yeah, we're getting there now. I'm glad really, because it means I can colour in some more of my books. <laughs> the more I do it, the more I free up my books. I don't want to start one until I've um, shown you it, because then it makes it a whip, and I'm a bit OCD like that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!